السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اکارڈنگ ٹو اسلام اٹ از دا رائٹ آف ہسبینڈ ٹو پرووائڈ کلاتھنگ فوڈ اینڈ ہاؤس شیلٹر ٹو دا وائف ویری امپورٹنٹ اینڈ آلسو ادر لا فل نیسیسٹیز ہی مسٹ پرووائڈ ٹو دا وائف So very important and this has been expressed completely in holy quran also so allah said in surah talaq ayat number 7 auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim liyunfiq zu sa'atin min sa'atihi wa man qudira alayhi rizquhu falyunfiq mimma ataahu allah لا يكلف الله نفسا الا ما اعطاها فيجعل الله بعد عسر يسرا سو الله سيد لينفق سو ذا پرسن شوڈ سپینڈ ذو ساعت من ساعته اكارڈنگ ٹو ذا كاپاسٹی وات ذا پرسن ہیو لائک فار ایگزامپل اف اے پرسن از پور پرسن he works just for uh, for for little bit money or so he gets not too much so so he then he has to spend what he has under that limit so this way allah wants even if a person who earns so much he is businessman big business so he has to spend more leon fik su so atan ذو ساعت من ساعته سو اللہ سیڈ سو دا پرسن مسٹ سپینڈ اکارڈنگ ٹو دا کیپیسٹی فار دا فیملی ومن قدر علیہ رزقه اینڈ اف اے پرسن ہو ہیز ہوز رزق از لیس ہو از گیٹنگ لیس منی ہو از ارننگ لیس فال یونفک he has to spend mimma atahu allah what allah has given to him so he must spend from that one so if a person is like his income is low so he must spend from his low income also just for family la yukallifu allah nafsan allah is not to put the burden on anyone illa ma ataha but what the person has like what the person get so allah give to the person even if allah wants uh, to uh, to put a person under test and trial so allah put the person in test and trial under the capacity what the person's capacity how much the person can afford under that so this way don't worry because allah said sajaj alullahu ba'da usri yusra in near future allah will give the rizq more than the less so if the person is getting less allah will increase that one in future usri yusra so usri mean low rizq yusra mean more like allah will provide easiness so the person will get more risk it's possible so this way this is you know actually the main thing is that this is in our life the um, sometime test and trials are there but uh, uh, we are sometime we are not to observe patience we are not to having tolerance we just feel what is that we we do some type of complaint this way it is it if a person who is having complaint about the risk not having patience and tolerance uh, then that person can't get more because that person fail in the test and trial in which allah uh, has put him so because he was under test and trial and uh, allah wants to see uh, his patience uh, and or how much is it. because uh, sometimes allah gave money or risk more so that allah wants to see the people 
uh, how they are thankful or no. Sometimes Allah gave the risk less. If they are getting more risk, Allah, Allah make it less. So to look them, how much they are observing patience and during that patience, are they thankful to Allah or no? So this is the thing and Allah wants to see are they having complaint? So if they are complaining, then uh, the risk will never increase because they they failed in test and trial. The people who pass in test and trial, those people who observe patience and what Allah has given them, they say, Alhamdulillah, this is enough, no problem. This is enough for us. Shukran, mashallah. So they say like this way. Then Allah said, Sayyaj alul Alullahu ba'da usrain yusra. Then Allah increased their risk after it was low. Before it was low, now Allah will increase that one. So this is the way we must understand that Allah is ready to help us, but sometimes Allah wants to see our uh, position, like uh, to know how much we are thankful to Allah, how much we observe patience. So this is very important. We must understand and keep in mind that whatever Allah has given to the husband, he must provide food, shelter and, uh, uh, and clothing and other essential needs to the wife and children. Very important. He should not... Uh, be miser or he should not uh, uh, like uh, hide the risk what Allah has given but he should spend that one which Allah has given to his family and to his like children is very important and if the person is poor don't worry this poverty is not a curse the person should do more work Allah will increase the risk not worry, because Allah said in Holy Quran, so this is Holy Quran, everything is true. So that is possible. When the person has belief in Allah, trust in Allah, then Alhamdulillah, his risk will be increased. Not worry. And Holy Prophet ﷺ said in one hadith, that is in Tirmizi, that um, you have to provide uh, the clothing, food and shelter to your wife and, and the children and uh, and behave with them with good manners. So this is hadith in Tarimzi Sharif. Holy Prophet Sallallahu said. Once a uh, wife of Abu Sufyan anhu, she came to Holy Prophet Sallallahu Hind bint Utba. She came to Holy Prophet Sallallahu and requested that my, my husband is, uh, is a rich person but he is miser. He is, he is not to give anything. He tried to hide the things. He tried to hide money. He never gave me. Even uh, I feel problem every time from him. And if you allow me, I can take from his money which is needed for me. Holy Prophet Sallallahu said, Yes, you are allowed to take from his money as much as needed for you and for your children. So that is the thing. So it means if the husband is not to give the money, then the woman, they, she is just to take which is needed from the money, from the earning of the husband. So she is allowed to take that one. So this is in Hadith and Bukhari. So uh, this way we must understand that uh, the other right of husband towards the wife is this one that uh, he must allow wife to to see the parents so if she want to see the parents within a week no problem she must be allowed to see and so this way even if the wife she wants to see the relative like which are marim relative uh, so then the husband allow also according to Islam so this is allowed so but woman uh, the wife should not go without the permission of husband she must go with permission of husband and husband should permit to go out 
to see the her her parents and her other relative which are mahram relative so she is allowed to go there also is very important also so but uh, but keep in mind that if one other thing very important if sometime uh, uh, you know inside house uh, there is some so many things are happening and sometime trouble and dispute possible if there is a differentiation of opinion or some type of uh, difference that uh, lead to dispute and dispute increases up to the higher limit that time uh, the husband should not uh, be more hurries to to divorce he must have a patience and uh, what happened that time allah said in surah nisa ayat number 35 so allah said uh, we have to follow that allah said auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim wa in khiftum shikaka bainihima fabasu hakamam min ahlihi wa hakamam min ahliha in yurida islahan yuwaffiqillahu bainahuma inna allah kana aliman khabira so allah said in this ayat wa in khiftum shikaka and if you feel if you have fear that uh, this dispute between them increasing now and there is no possibility of reconciliation or they are not to patch up again so the problem is becoming bigger then uh, what is the solution allah gave in this ayat allah said fab asu hakaman then you can uh, uh, you can find one person from the family min ahli from the family of the husband so one person who is good person uh, so uh, mashallah you can find who uh, who can who is uh, like uh, who is mature person good person and he, you can find that person and wa hakamam min ahliha and one person you can find from the family of the wife and these two person they should come and they can get information from both husband and wife and then they can uh, find if there is a need uh, how is possibility of patch up or possibility of reconciliation and then uh, they can decide if they decide to reconcile or if they decide to patch up then allah said in yurida islahan yuwaffiqillahu bainahuma so if they intend if they intend that for reconciliation then yuwaffiqillahu bainahuma then allah will pro- produce in between them again love and and uh, mashallah and uh, sincerity and they will be good friend again husband and wife they will be good and nice relationship they will have again because allah will bring the uh, dirty like dispute things away and make their heart again in love with each other in allah kana aliman khabira because allah knows everything because allah has allah is aware of everything so this way allah pro, pro, will pro, provide in between them uh, some type of love and they will be good uh, friend again inshallah so this is the possibility so allah said in this ayat that you have to find good person from the family of uh, husband and one person from family of wife they can come and uh, they can get information and then they try to reconcile and uh, if they are if they reach at conclusion that reconciliation is the best thing then if they decide in yuridu islahi yuwaffiqillahu bainahuma then allah will produce in between them uh, reconciliation and then they will be patch up very nice way and they will be good friend also mashallah so this is possibility allah told is mashallah this is good thing so uh, but if uh, if the situation is more worse and the uh, and the dispute reach to the court and uh, there is also if the judge judge must must have uh, uh, like uh, must have a patience and then he should try to patch up them again he tried his his uh, best to, 
to patch up them again. If there is no possibility, then it's the last resort. So this way very important. So according to Islam, so because this divorce is not good, uh, Allah dislike it also. So uh, even if you look at uh, hadith that the Holy Prophet ﷺ said, uh, some women, you know some women, they also say to the husband, please give me divorce. And this is not good thing. If if the if the woman if the wife she demand divorce, Holy Prophet ﷺ said that she will not reach to the paradise. Even she will not be able to get the smell of paradise because smell of paradise it comes when the person is five hundred five hundred miles away from the paradise. It comes, smell of the paradise comes there. But she will not be able to get the smell of the paradise. So the woman who demand for divorce, this is, this is very dangerous. As many women, they also de demand divorce from the husband without any reason also, just a small, small uh, dispute. So this is no good and they should be careful because they will not get the place in paradise even they will not be able to get the smell of the paradise also as holy prophet sallallahu said one other thing very important mostly we have seen that uh, the family is they stay in one home and one home is the uh, because sometimes the parents they want that my children they should stay at one place so before our eyes what happened when one brother is married, married then uh, the other bro brother marries, then other brother marries, if there are three, four, five brothers, if they are married and they stay at one home and there is possibility the wife of one brother may have some relationship with other brother. So this possibility is there and many people, they called us also and uh, this situation was there. And the solution that is in Sharia, they should have their separate home. That is the solution of that. So this with the parents, they should not enforce them to stay at one place, but after marriage, they should go separate home. So that is very important also. Otherwise, there is chances of sexual relationship of uh, like... Uh, uh, brother of the husband with the wife of that person so that is the problem uh, that is possible and that has been seen and many people complain we have we we are aware about about that one so this way according to sharia so when the marriage is done so they should go a separate place is better so alhamdulillah then the dispute will not be there and problems will not be there otherwise one brother will become enemy of other brother because of this moment so this trouble is possible and similarly uh, the woman uh, the wife must understand that she should not invite her her sisters in the home and not give the space in whom to stay for uh, stay for more time long time in the home because then the possibility what the husband will have relationship with the sister of his wife so then is there uh, maybe the other possibility so this way uh, the woman who is wife she must be careful about it very important according to Islamic point of view and also uh, so uh, the other very important thing that is uh, the respect and regard the wife must understand that uh, the mom and dad of uh, her husband they are really mom and dad of her she should respect them like that similarly the husband should respect to, to the mom and dad of his wife so if he will respect them he will give gift he will give good response and uh, mashallah good relationship the wife will have also good relationship with the with the mom and dad of husband also this way this is a two-way traffic 
you have to continue two way traffic mashallah the house situation will be very good try to do like that way because uh, otherwise there may be chances of trouble problem from little little things and they increase then there will be more problem possible so if you understand that your wife should respect your parents you must respect the parents of your wife if you uh, want that your wife should respect your relatives then you must respect the relative of your wife then this will be two way traffic everything will be fine so even uh, you know this is the, the this is uh, the duty of the wife that she 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 should not make anyone to enter in the house without the permission of uh, of her husband very important and the other thing very important the last two thing today in i'm telling you this is very important that uh, the woman uh, she should not follow fashion tradition or dress or clothing which is out of sharia and even if the husband say you have to wear those one i want to see like that she should request to him that this is out of islam so i don't want to be disobedient to allah and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that is very important so this way so the main thing is that so even even uh, during the uh, relationship the husband should not force her wife to do some type of relationship which is outside sharia so be careful and similarly women should not uh, request the husband to do something uh, which is out of sharia during the relationship time so very important so this way uh, if you look after both each other alhamdulillah everything will be fine so no problem so try to understand respect the parents respect the relatives both and make a two way traffic mashallah you will be good person and inside house the situation will be good environment will environment will be good and atmosphere of the house will be very good and there will be no trouble no problem and mashallah house will be very good and you will get the peace of mind and wife have children and uh, all the people who are in home mashallah they will be happy so allah make us happy in this world and the world hereafter ameen